We're back on Born Before 64, and you know, I love makeup. Absolutely love makeup. Because I think it just really, it's like a palette. You know, it's like yes. uh, an artist palette. Yes. Um, tell me when you, when did you first decide that you really wanted to go for it all the way? You had the nail salon by this time, right? Yes, ma'am. And when did you decide to start into the makeup world? I went into the makeup world, at the, um, like I said earlier, when my mom passed away. After she passed away, uh, I guess going into makeup was supposed to be part of my therapy. So the first thing we launched, we launched the lip glosses because I felt lip glosses, every woman needs a lip gloss, and it was, it was easy to work with, I thought. Um, what do you mean you thought? Because I just thought, because as I got into it, I learned a lot about pigments and how pigments can separate from the gloss and making sure you had the right consistency so when you blend, so when someone is using a really good gloss, you don't have a layer of gloss and then you have to go back in and get pigment. You have to make sure your consistency was right. So that's what I mean by when I say I thought. I thought it was gonna be easier than when I first got into it. Um, so I learned a lot about that with chemistry. Um, so after we launched the first um, lip, um, set of lip glosses, six months later, I decided I wanted to do the full line. Yeah, the full line, pencils, everything. And we came out with the full line six months later. I had lipsticks, but I had to discontinue the lipsticks because they weren't moving as fast. and the shelf life of lipsticks are very, very short. And um, because they weren't moving as fast, I figured maybe I could focus on growing the brand. And then as the brand grows, I can bring the, lip, the lipsticks back. Tell me where you found the name Fluff a Joe. Um, my, actually, my youngest sister mm -hmm. um, told me to name it Bluff a Joe. Bluff a Joe is a term in Liberia that we refer to a person that is always put together. Oh, that's pretty good. Like you. Like me? Yeah, it's the oh, look at you. So, oh, I look at her. It. She's a bluffer <laughs> joke. Exactly. Or she just came out of a band box. Remember that? That's an old <laughs> yeah. saying. So but, that's you know, where we got the name bluffer that, joke that, from. That's beautiful, And I, I liked it because, one, I thought it kind of resonated with where I was from. And the second, I thought it was catchy. It was different. And so those two things were the reasons why, um, when she told me, I said, you know what, yeah, Kathy, you're good for something. Right. <laughs> well, you know, and the funny part about it is, remember when the lip glosses and the permanent lipstick, or yes. not the permanent lipstick, but the ones that stay on all day, yes. they burned. Yes. Why did they burn? More than likely because of the dye that was in them. And, mm -hmm. and, and some a lot of makeup have talc and dye and they have a lot of things in it that are fillers so that's why when people wear makeup for a period of time they start getting allergic reactions or sometimes their lips get really dry especially if they're using uh, lip tints or you know stay on forever it's supposed to be lipsticks or lip glosses mm -hmm. so those are the chemicals that are in them that can could be compromising to the skin right. and I wanted to make sure that our brand did not have that um, and how tough was that to do? That's very tough to do. It's very tough to do because, and still stay on the, the with uh -huh. the spirit of excellence. It's tough to do because one, you have a market of huge competitors that have, you know, a budget of over forty million dollars or whatever, and here you are, a small company trying to get things that they don't have and try to do things right. So it was it was hard to do, but I had to stick with my integrity and that's at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. Tell me how you, uh, just how long did it take you to establish Bluff a Joe? And you brought it into your salon first? Is yes. that what you did? Yes. How did you find the manufacturer to help you to produce the product? I was out at a trade show in Los Angeles and um, one of the chemists in the industry introduced me to, to, to this lady and we started talking and she told me um, that she could help me and she'd send me some products. I went to her, her, um, her office, I looked at some things, I tested some things, I wanted to make sure whatever I got I was very hands-on and involved in. I didn't want to get a product to just put my name on it and say, oh, this is a private label line, this is it, and that's that. I didn't want that. I wanted something that 
I could be very involved and I could be involved in the, the production of it. I could be involved in the testing of it and all of those things. And that's how I chose her. And the quality that they, that they have is what I believe in. So it right. was a good fit. And the product itself is hypoallergenic? Yes, uh, it's anti-inflammatory. We have anti-inflammatory properties in it. So the foundations have vitamin E. You can even sleep in the foundation. I never recommend really? sleeping in it, but you can. It doesn't compromise the skin. We have absolutely no dyes in our product. We have absolutely no fillers in our products. The lip glosses have peptide in them. And the purpose of the, the functionality of the peptide is because it gives you a smooth line on your lips. So people who have lines and dryness in the lips, mm -hmm. it helps to moisturize the lip and it helps to fill in that line. So that's the purpose of the peptide that's in the lip glosses. And that's really important. So yes. how many different products do you have now, Maisie, now, in your line? We have gloss, lip glosses, eyebrow pencils, lip pencils, um, cheeks, pigments. I'm coming out, I'm launching my pigment, my lip pigments at the trade show in June. I'm so excited about it. Right. Last year I added tr um, trios to the line. They're mm -hmm. basically a blush and two shadows and right. the other trio is four shadows all together in loving memory of my mom. Oh, that's beautiful. So, yeah, so her favorite places and, and, and so we have those and then we also have um, red cheeks, liner, lip gloss, mascara, everything but lipstick we didn't do we took the lipsticks off all right now you have skincare products too that yes. you're doing a skincare line yes ma'am and we're, today we're going to do we're going to we actually have two models that yes. have volunteered. Yes. We have no makeup on whatsoever. Yes. One is my sweet sister, Mary Lynn Farmer, and the other one is my best friend, Debbie Burkhart. Okay. And they have offered to use themselves as your palette. Oh, oh, thank you guys so much for taking an opportunity to take the chance with me. <laughs> so I appreciate that. So are we going to do before looks and then do oh, yes. after? We're going to do a before look and we're going to do an after look. Okay, great. Because I think that's really important. Yes. Um, they're different ages. I mean, okay. I'm probably older than both of them. I'm 68 and you did my skin. Yeah. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. You do look gorgeous. And you came on board and I'm one of your spokespeople now. So I'm yes. so excited about oh, it. Thank because you. Because I have to tell you um, that I like things that are not hard on your skin yes. that make your sin, skin feel wonderful and I don't it doesn't feel like I have anything on. on my face right yes. now and that's that was key for me because I wanted to make sure one because I do a lot of work in the fashion industry if I was working in the fashion industry, I would still have to use my makeup. So I wanted to make sure the makeup had good coverage for, for film work. And I also wanted to make sure the makeup was good enough for the everyday woman. So that it's hard to do as well. So because film work, as you well know in film, you have to make sure the makeup, the lighting for the makeup is right. That's so, right. So we wanted to make sure. So that. I want to invite you because I've been given a part mm -hmm. in a new television series yes. that's called Brotherhood of Silver. I'm going to be the mother of a 30-year-old. Oh. <laughs> I think I can pass that. I think you can. And I'd love for you to do my makeup. I would. Love, I would be honored to do your Thank makeup. Thank you. I would you, be honored to do well, your makeup. Well, and I'm honored that you picked me as your spokesperson. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. And we're going to take a break, but give your websites out again and then the next is that we're going to have, I think we're going to start with Mary Lynn Farmer. We're going to put her on first. Okay. And we're going to have Debbie Burkhart, and then we'll have the end Sisters of the are great, aren't they? They yeah. do anything. Yeah, they'll it's do good. anything for you, and so will friends. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, good so, they have great friends and good sisters. <laughs> right. So let's take a little break and give your website out, please. Sure. www.maisie.com. Dunbar Spa Lounge, just M as in Mary, A I S as in Samuel, I E, Dunbar, D U N B A R as in Robert, Spa Lounge.com, as well as Bluffer Joe Cosmetics.com. Bluffer Joe is spelled B as in boy, L U F as in Frank, F as in Frank, A as in attitude. J as in Jackie, O as in Orange, cosmetics.com. 
And we'll be right back on Born Before 64 with our models. For more information on our show, check out our website at www.bornbefore64.com.